So one of these is a toy. One of these are really cheap. One of these things shouldn't exist. Can you guess which one it is? If you guessed that this one's the toy, you'd be wrong. That one's a toy. However, this one's probably less expensive than that one. So why don't you sit back for a minute, buckle up. I'm going to move a couple of these things out of the way, and we'll get this thing going. So give me a second. Hey, 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 hey there. This is Joe. This is the Jiminy Show. If you like this kind of stuff, don't forget to get subscribed. I'd really appreciate it. What we're doing today is taking a look from the chair. This is the uh, hillbilly highback, as they call him, a, or a lazy boy. But I have something on here that I think is a little bit interesting and a lot of bit disappointing. So if you like this kind of stuff, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, get subscribed, use my links, Amazon, all that fun stuff, Liberty Arms, Harrisonburg, Virginia. You greatly appreciate, well, I would, I'd greatly appreciate your patronage because you'll help the channel grow. What we're looking at today, well, it's a carbine. Uh, those of you that are enthusiasts will know what those stickers mean, as along with the uh, fact that this thing looks uh, a little interesting. Yes, this is the High Point 45 caliber carbine. Strassels, Strassels, Strassels. They're made in Ohio. A lot of meth is made in Ohio. You do the math. But this is a blowback. That's right. Blowback operated. 45 caliber. Carbine. With an 8 round magazine. The opening I showed this guy. This is a replica Thompson A1. So it's a uh, uh, replica, a compliment, because it has something that says full auto. And as we all know, Thompsons are not allowed to be full auto unless you have a tax stamp. Liberty Arm does that, by the way. So if you're in Virginia and you want to get your tax stamp, give them a call. But the reason I have this out is because this is something that was designed back in the 20s. And just like that back there, traditionally a blowback operated sidearm. Don't know why I called it a sidearm? Firearm. So yes, this is a very simple design that has been around for about a hundred years, so you would expect it to work. Believe it or not, I've heard some tell that the 45 and the 10 millimeter versions of these guys do work. But let's go ahead and take a look around it. Uh, high point. Put more effort into designing this than probably any of their pistols, so I got to give them the credit there. This guy is a 16-inch barrel, so it is a full carbine, has a fixed stock. However, it does have a simulated cheek piece. I'm not going to goof around with that. It has a separated cheek piece where your stickers are. Uh, also, I love all these. Uh, you risk injury or death by handling this firearm. I love that. They're the only guys that will actually put that sticker on there, so good on you. But it is, again, a blowback operated 45 caliber with an 8-round magazine that goes into the pistol grip. Why? Well, it makes it easier to design because you just basically have to take the design of the 45 caliber high point pistol, which uses the exact same basic operations. However, this obviously is using a bolt, but the high point pistol in 45 is also blowback. High point makes some cheap stuff, and well, you know what? It's just the way it is. I don't know how to drop this thing. Uh, I mean, I can drop the mag fine. I'm guessing if I do this. Yeah, there we go. So, yeah, pretty simple on the outside. This ribbing here is basically just for design elements. Doesn't really mean anything on this particular gun. Does have a Picatinny rail up top with a removable ghost ring, or excuse me, peephole sight on set up on this one. You can also get a ghost ring rear sight on this. And believe it or not, not the worst sight picture in the world. I've shot guns with much worse sight pictures. I can't really, there we go, get it in camera too well. But I like a peephole with a front post. This one has a hooded front post to protect it from damage. But overall, that actually doesn't feel too, look too bad. I was going to say feel too bad. It does have a spring-loaded buttstock. 
which is actually a bonus because, well, blowback will send a little bit more pressure backwards into your shoulder when you're shooting it. Uh, the design of this is metal with polymer. I'm not sure what the metal is. It feels better than ZMAC, but it might still be for the outside of the receiver. Bolt is obviously steel. Has your extractor built into the bolt, which is very common. So when it cycles, Oh, well. <coughs> Oof -da. Ah. So when it cycles, it will eject the round and load the next one. has a mag disconnect, which I don't care for, but hey, it is what it is. Magazine disconnects can go to hell. has a skeletonized buttstock, which is fine, I guess. It makes it a little bit cooler, I guess. And it has a horrible trigger. Let's go ahead and give you an example. This is why I hate magazine disconnects, because you have to put a magazine in your gun to fire your gun, or even dry fire your gun, which is absolutely stupid. But here's the trigger. Honestly, not the worst I've ever felt. Reset. Pretty much all the way out. No, it was all the way out. Let me do this so that I can rack it. There we go. Now that we've done that, let's go ahead and try that again. Yeah, probably in the five pound-ish range, which is not the worst I've ever felt for a carbine. Let's go ahead and try the reset. Yep, all the way out. A little bit of take up and then... No, didn't fully reset the trigger. Oh my goodness. Wow. Are you telling me it won't reset? No, I think I felt it that time. Yep. So it is all the way out. It's just a pain in the ass because you have to fully release it every time. Great. Uh, it does have some rail on the bottom here, so you can attach a light laser bazooka. I'm about to do something that's also funny. Just to show you that you have options, I'm going to take a hundred and whatever, $175 light and launch it across my room because why wouldn't I try to find it where it sits there you go I've just doubled the value of the gun let go on let go off don't forget to get those you can order that right from Liberty Arms Overall feel of the gun in your hand is not the worst I've ever felt. It's just heavy and bulky. But you do have a lot of places to hold it. And with the elevator rail, you could actually knuckle run it while still getting a C-clamp. So if you put a red dot on there, again, tripling the value of the gun, you might actually wind up with a functional rifle. I don't disassemble high points because they have roll pins and stupid stuff. Uh, although, let's see, maybe these ones aren't so bad. Let's grab the back of this polymer screwdriver. Nope, not going to do it. Anywho, I just wanted to show you that I don't always have to look at expensive stuff. I am perfectly happy looking at inexpensive stuff and making fun of some things. But, uh, yeah, if you want a high point carbine, First thing I would ask you to do is go to your local hospital, check yourself into the Insanity Wing, and spend maybe a few days there because at $325, you can probably find a used Caltech Sub 2K and a 40 cal because 40 cal, plenty of power, cut down 10, blah, 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 but it would be much more superior to that. Plus, you'd have a folding barrel with a threaded barrel and a lot more reliability. And if you went with a 9mm, you get Glock Mag compatibility. These do not run with the extended mags, so outside of the reliability I hear they could have with the right ammo, I'm still going to say this is uh, another one in the I Don't Recommend It series, so don't just come here hoping that I'm going to butter everybody's bread on every side and hoping that when it lands it doesn't taste like dirt. I am going to tell you what I think about something when I'm actually holding it. 
If I go crazy and take it out to the range, I'll bring you along with me. I still have to go out and put a lot more rounds through my Taurus G3 Tactical. And I also have to do the follow-up because if you've been watching the shorts, you'll know that I accidentally Loctited the slide shut on this. But now, Wilson Combat, eat your heart out. So, yeah, come back for all of that. Don't forget to give me a like, subscribe, comment, follow me, all that stuff. I'm also on TikTok, uh, same name, and Instagram, same name, and come back for more. So, till next time, I'll talk to you later.